Hey wavy babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited to be doing this video today. We are basically going to be taking a look into my legacy or our new legacy that will be featured here on the channel. If you have not checked out the creative sim for this sim, Noelle Noble, she is the founder of our legacy and I would love it if you just checked out that creative sim so you could kind of like get a little brief background. I am going to kind of explain her character and things like that and talk about everything, but it's still good to see her being created and her little like my mindset going into creating her because you know the founder of a legacy is like the star of everything if you're not in love with the founder you're just not going to play that long you know what I mean like you have to be in love with your founder so I am absolutely head over heels in love with Noelle she is just amazing anyways so this video is a little bit different what you are seeing now is actually me already playing um i'm actually making this voice over over gameplay that i've already played because i kind of wanted you to see me actually just playing her i didn't want to i didn't want to jump in and start recording like i wanted to actually get familiar with her and get a feel of it because i haven't really done legacy challenges in the sims 4 like back in the sims 2 i was like oh yay i love the struggle box i love starting from scratch and and like making it to eight generations or whatever but this time we're going to 10 generations and i'm literally like I'm nervous guys I'm really nervous um anyways I just wanted to uh get familiarized with her and I didn't want to leave this part out I didn't want to start where I actually am right now in her legacy because I feel like I'm a little bit farther now and I, I just I wanted you to see how I was struggling from scratch and how I got the money that I got but anyways so Noelle Noble is our founder and she is in the doctor field or medical field I hate how they call it the doctor career because there's so many other avenues in the medical field but I'm just gonna say she's in the medical field right now in this current thing that you're watching she was a I think she was an orderly I believe um but anyways yeah so she she was doing the basics in the beginning and I loved it so much and one thing that I love about this career is that you can choose to stay later if you want so if you want to work that overtime and you want to get those extra hours each you try to get that money do so and I, that's what I did that's how I actually got you know that extra money for her I definitely had her working overtime you can see here how I'm actually playing when I'm not on cam when I'm just playing by myself this is exactly how I play like I had her washing her hands after every patient and stuff like I told myself it's not only about um, meeting those goals on the left hand corner it's also about making the jobs feel real and I thought you know being that this is called the noble legacy that the first founder has to have a very noble career not saying that all other careers aren't noble don't come for me in the comments because I will come for you just kidding now but you know I just like Dr. Noble the first noble uh, the first noble was a doctor you you know what I mean? Like, so maybe even the second um, here, she probably or he will probably be a a professor or even as far as being an engineer, working in law, those careers I want to excel in. Even scientists, I want to try that out as well. Um, and those huge careers, you know, and then I want like. I haven't decided if I want to do every other noble to be in those careers and then uh, the other careers I wanted the hairs to be in the careers like freelance artist, freelance writer, those other like really creative careers because Noelle here, as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys saw this or not, or when if you heard the um heard the uh if you watch the creative sim on her, I am so sorry my words I can't think. I'm just looking at her and I'm like, oh my god, this was so fun to play. I was playing with her for like hours, y'all. Like I just went in on one night. I was like, yo, I'm just gonna keep playing her. She's a creative sim, so her avenues could also be something creative. And you see all these flowers here. We grow fresh chrysanthemum flowers for our flower arranging business that I plan to have for her in the future. Um, that's part of her creativity to me. Even though that doesn't build the creative skill, I feel like that's a part of it. And I feel like you know there's more to her than just being a doctor she is also going to probably have you know uh flowers by noel or noel um fleur or something like that you know i saw little simsy made a flower arrange flower um a flower shop and i kind of want to do something like that for noel i thought that would be like really 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 cute i thought that was a really cool idea the great thing is that we're in delso valley with this legacy right so across the street at that park um 
across from this lot there is actually like fresh chrysanthemum flowers i hope i'm saying this right chrysanthemum chrysanthemum huh? um but yeah there's fresh flowers and like lemon trees everywhere and it's summertime right now so you know i'm i took advantage of all of that i have the chrysanthemum flowers right here that she's watering these flowers are the ones that she um sells and then the other ones are the ones that she uses for her bouquets so that she doesn't have to pay for anything for her bouquets you see what i mean so i'm not even spending any money by making some of the flower arrangements that I'm making because they're free being that I am harvesting fresh flowers and so I thought that really worked out and that's why that's how I was able to get a lot of money y'all like I'm just letting you know when you see the next episode of this legacy it will be live and in the flesh as opposed to me speaking over my gameplay um but yeah it will be live and you will see that your girl made a slight come up it's not anything drastic but she does i will just go ahead and let you know now she has a little tiny home that i built yes me i built her a little tiny starter shack half starter half struggle you know <laughs> like um but yeah I, I really love it i've never done anything like this in the sims 4 before and uh, look at me making her stay late again dude now I, when i play with her in the doctor career about at about like one o'clock or so i try to have her take her lunch break like she is so busy with her patient she is such an empathetic kind uh, person that she can't just stop what she's doing you know lunch may be scheduled at 10 but if she has three patients that need her and you know the hospital is backed up and they need to be admitted to a patient bed she is going to admit them to the patient bed and skip out on her lunch break sometimes and only have time to grab a snack literally like she is so she's such an amazing worker and this time around now that I'm playing with the uh, career from get to work the doctor career I have her practicing the analysis a lot more and trying to work with that I have her doing tasks that aren't always asked for because I feel like that will bring me closer to the career because when I first got get to work I was literally just oh wait wait she got promoted to the medical assistant here oh yeah I forgot about that yeah she got promoted to medical assistant so currently right now that's what she is that's why you see that right there mm -hmm. our girls our girls moving up y'all um but yeah sometimes I would just play and accomplish the goals but i wanted to play realistically too and speaking of realistically here i have her actually having a social life i started to be so money hungry i was like oh my gosh like this is a legacy this is probably going to be going on forever so let me have her have a social life i'm playing in little simsy save right now so the sim on the right i believe her name is cameron page she just kept calling me out and i was like you know what let me just go out with this girl i end up getting dazed i end up feeling nice and bubbly having some pho and just um what was it oh it was the high humor and hijinks festival and i decided to put her on the pranksters instead of the jokesters so i had to do a lot like mischief interactions and we actually won five hundred dollars because we won over the jokesters so i was like oh yes i got five hundred dollars of voodoo doll and fireworks i ended up selling the voodoo doll later because i was like nah we're not mm -mm, we're not doing a voodoo not, voodoo stuff i'm just not into that type of stuff like in the game i don't, i sold it like i needed the money if i didn't need the money i probably would have played around with it but i needed the money um but when she comes home from work and everything i always have her like work on her skills i have her eat most of the time she's dead exhausted and tired um i don't go to work with her every single day but i, I like i think this day i just sent her to work because i didn't feel like dealing with impatience either y'all you know that's what i'm saying the fact that rabbit hole careers exist it's a good thing because you're not you're not always going to want to feel like going and traveling with your sim to work like that is just way too realistic no one has time for that i'll just wait for a sis to come back and then play with her like i've been doing here but um even though we don't have a stove i do have a refrigerator and a counter so we're able to make garden salads and fruit salads every day but oh hold on Alrighty, so i am back i'm sorry guys i had a phone call <laughs> i was like who is calling me while i'm trying to focus on my no al noble and no, i'm just kidding but um yeah like as you guys can see here she's watering some trees i totally forgot what i was talking about guys by the way so i'm sorry i'm a hot mess but i love legacy challenges dude i think they are so much fun I actually stopped when i paused the video i went to go check and see how you guys felt about the creative sim and you guys are so excited for this so it makes me like super super duper excited one thing i have to say i don't know if i've reminded you guys of this enough but i just want to say like just because like i've been posting a lot more than what i what i have been when i took that hiatus but i love you guys so much like y'all drive me so hard the reason why i wanted to bring something like this to my channel is because i think about my content i think about not only what i want to do but and like what makes me happy but what's something that you guys probably would want to watch or what's something that i would want us to look back on like y'all remember that one time we had that legacy hey like 
I don't know, man. <clears throat> My voice is like going out. I feel like I sound like a, a old head, like an old grandpa that's just like, hey, baby. Like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm recovering from being sick. I probably already told you that, but um, I love y'all, man. Y'all really, really make me want to finish this. I know there are LPs on my channel that I have not finished, but I, I can tell you like it's not on purpose. When you are a creator, I never realized how hard it is to stick to one thing, especially when you have all these ideas flowing in your head and then life happens and then you just lose that fight to keep putting out something that, you know, it probably was golden. I really feel like a lot of my LPs on the channel were like so golden and I let them go before they reached their peak. Like, and um, it hurts. Trust me, it hurts. But sometimes I can't even go back to it because of what was going on around that time in my personal life. It reminds me of what was going on and why I stopped. So that's why you may not see certain LPs on the channel anymore. But as far as all the LPs that are going on right now, everything's consistent. <laughs> everything is being posted as it should um, I know I'm a little bit slow sometimes but that's because I do have kids or whatever and I am a wife so you know and then I'm a human being so like you know sometimes I'm just like man I don't want to play sims today or actually no I'm be honest with you I always want to play sims but sometimes I don't feel like recording because I'm not in the mindset for it and I don't ever want to be on YouTube like fake you know <laughs> y'all know I'm not fake I keep it 110 percent oh yeah she leveled up level four in gardening I believe she has level four for the flower arranging skill too she's honestly like i love skill building i didn't ever realize how therapeutic that this legacy challenge would be but i was playing my husband was playing like red dead redemption next to me when i was playing this and i was i was in the zone like i felt like i was just it, it was so therapeutic to water my garden to take care of things and i feel like as humans it is natural for us to want to do those do those things to take care of things and and feel that uh, routine of life so if you don't have a routine in your life and things like that I feel like we suffer from that sometimes like I suffer from that how routine I made Noelle's life it was very therapeutic in my mind if only I could have that type of discipline in my real life I bet you I wouldn't be as stressed as how I feel daily when I'm like all over the place um but yeah <laughs> so I'm not always in y'all I am not perfect like sometimes I'm like this you see how Noelle just crashed on the floor yeah homegirl was tired and I did push her past her limits but you know we gotta do what we gotta do you know but she was working with a lot of money and I was so like astonished I always thought it was impossible I thought you know when you start from the bottom you're just you're just broke forever but that's just not true that's not true you have to save your money also right here I left this in because I wanted you guys to see that I keep my seasons on 14 days because one week of fall and summer and winter is not enough for me I love my seasons but what I did here was stop my aging because she was aging up way too fast for me I just made her the other day and she was already halfway in between her aging I think she aged up into a full-blown adult in 14 days and I, I have I hadn't even found her a a boo yet you know someone to carry on the legacy with and I was like no I'm gonna I'm gonna stop aging and once she actually gets pregnant I will restart it again so I'm not someone that also follows the rules verbatim because I also want to have fun I don't want this to be an experience I don't want it to be like oh my god I have to follow the rules you know it's cool to do that but for me I really want to enjoy this so I want to remember remember this so um probably with each generation it might change I might be very strictly on the rules and other times I might not because I might be so in love with the family I'm like no I don't want you to die <laughs> you know like I don't know but um I hope you guys enjoyed this video the next video like I said will be live and in the flesh me just playing but this is just me talking over my gameplay i know i repeat myself several times but i know sometimes people skip in the video so if you if you're a skipper in my videos I'm, I'm not even mad at you you know i know how it is you may only have like five minutes to watch me and i still appreciate it boo i still appreciate it uh just wanna let you know future videos will always be with me talking on time unless you guys like this style of video do you like me talking over my gameplay as opposed to while i'm doing it do you like that because i like this t i like any type of style of video to be honest but i don't know guys i um yeah i think i'm done here so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um always 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 no 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 no. i have to tell you to just keep simming first and foremost what, what's wrong with me um and always 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 stay wavy i will see y'all in the next video thank you so much for vibing with me today love you so much all right peace out